Good evening, you are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. The Shabab Oman 2 ship starts its international voyage Oman, the land of peace, heading to the European continent. The Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Investment Promotion reveals in its media meeting more investment activities and opportunities in various sectors. And a cooperation program is signed to develop the Vocational College for Marine Sciences in the Wilaya of Al Khabura and other vocational colleges in the Sultanate. Those were the headlines now for the news in detail. The Royal Navy of Oman ship Shabab Oman II started today its sixth international voyage, Oman, the land of peace from Saeed bin Sultan Naval Base heading to the European continent. The ship's farewell ceremony was held under the auspices of His Excellency Sayyid Khalid bin Hilal al Busaidi, Minister of the Diwan of Royal Court. The Shabab Oman II came to replace its predecessor, Shabab Oman, with a march full of achievements and immortalized in maritime history. The ship is one of the longest sailing ships of the Clipper class with a length of 85.5 meters and contains three masts, the highest of which is 51.2 meters high. The Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Investment Promotion affirmed in its annual media meeting that the Sultanate of Oman is a rich environment for the growth of investment. More details in the following report. The annual media meeting of the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Investment Promotion revealed that the Sultanate of Oman is ready to invest after the completion of the infrastructure, the launch of the economic stimulus plan, and the presence of clear investment opportunities in the industrial sector. The meeting reviewed the Ministry's plan of the current year for the most important projects, programs, initiatives, and targeted investment sectors that contribute to the development of investments, raising the domestic product, and empowering the private sector. During the media meeting, the Ministry announced the completion of 11 initiatives last year and also announced a package of initiatives for this year in various sectors. The statistics of the year 2021 indicate an increase in the volume of trade exchange between the Sultanate of Oman and the countries of the world by more than 41 percent. The statistics also indicate an increase in the contribution of manufacturing industries to the gross domestic product by more than 40 percent and the growth of foreign direct investment by 7 percent. The total investments brought by the Investor Residency Card reached more than 106 million Amani Riyals. The Ministry of Higher Education, Research and Innovation and Suhar Aluminium Company signed a cooperation program to develop vocational colleges and the Vocational College for Marine Sciences in the Wilaya of Al Khabura. The agreement comes within the framework of developing the education and vocational training system in line with the objectives of the Oman Vision 2040 and the importance of strengthening partnership with the private sector. In order to keep pace with technological development and employ it in the workplace, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Water Resources signed an agreement to provide the fishermen in the Wilaya of Barka in South Batna Governorate with motorized pulleys to tow boats and fishing nets. The initiative is supported by the private sector. The machines will facilitate work for fishermen and will save working time. The machines will also contribute in increasing production of fish. It is worth mentioning that the private sector plays a vital role in supporting fishermen in the Sultanate of Oman and encourage them to practice these professions. Fishermen will no longer use traditional ways in fishing and reduce the burden of pulling boats and fishing nets, which usually require high physical effort.
Refugees from Ukraine continue to arrive in Poland today as Ukraine's president warns that his country faces a crucial time and that Russian troops will set up operations in the east. As they crossed into Medeka on the Polish side, some refugees, mainly women and children, spoke of the brutality of the conflict. A 25-year-old refugee from the Donetsk region said a lot of local citizens are evacuating. Everybody is waiting for the worst. The UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, said that more than 4.3 million, half of them children, have left Ukraine since Russia launched its military operation on February 24th and sparked Europe's largest refugee crisis since World War II. More than half, half have gone to Poland. The International Organization for Migration estimates more than 12 million people are stranded in areas of Ukraine under attack. Pakistan's parliament chose a more Western-friendly politician, Shahbaz Sharif, as prime minister today, completing the ousting of predecessor Imran Khan in a political crisis that have sparked street protests and a mass resignation of lawmakers. Sharif's election brings to a close a week-long constitutional confrontation that climaxed yesterday when Khan lost a no-confidence vote although the nuclear-armed nation is likely to remain prone to political and economic turbulences. 70-year-old Sharif, who has a reputation domestically as an effective administrator more than as a politician, is the younger brother of three-time Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Analysts say Shahbaz, unlike Nawaz, enjoys amicable relations with Pakistan's military, which traditionally controls foreign and defense policy in the country of 220 million people. Firefighters on the ground in Texas reported yesterday that a wildfire north of San Antonio, which had burned some 2,800 acres, was now 50% contained. Deputy Fire Chief Scott Rydenor of the Joint Base San Antonio Fire Emergency Services said residents in the Comal County who had been told to evacuate their homes could now return. He also said there, there, there were no reports of damaged structures or injuries as of yesterday afternoon. To shed light on the essential role of endowments in social developments, the Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs inaugurated the activities of the Gulf Endowments Week. More details in the following report. Under the theme Endowments in Time of Crisis, the Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs launched the activities of the Gulf Endowments Week at the Al Aurami Boulevard in the Wilaya of Asib. This event tonight is to highlight the importance of Waqf uh, in the times of crisis and to bring awareness within societies in the Gulf states about the importance of Waqf and to encourage people uh, all over the GCC countries to uh, donate for the Waqf and to be with the society. The activities of the Gulf Endowments Week comprised a discussion session on the role of the endowments in times of crises in the past, present, and future aspirations. Endowment definition is the is is as we say it in Arabic hab. So you cannot sell, you cannot buy, you cannot uh, give. Uh, it 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 stay as it is for long for forever. Uh, in fact which means that is very important for the sustainability. So it, it, it will be continuing giving for the society um, for, forever. And that, that, that's point, uh, in fact, it has more impact during crisis. And then uh, the, when we look at the history, uh, we, we see very good examples when the endowment has played very critical, important uh, roles during the, uh, the, the crisis. Don't go very far. I mean, if you look at the, the very recent uh, crisis, um, uh, Shaheen's uh, cyclone, um, the Waqf has played very critical, important uh, roles. Uh, for example, uh, Imam Gabar bin Zaid Waqf Foundation has contributed to the, to, during the, uh, uh, that uh, situation. With the participation of several zakat associations and endowments foundations, 
a three-day exhibition is held to shed light on the history of endowments in the Sultanate of Oman as well as the duties of endowment establishments. Endowments play a prominent role in providing great services to the community in various walks of life. Such events enhance the collaboration of endowments among the GCC countries. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Salah Bukhalfan al Rahbi, Moscow. Small and medium enterprises development authority signed cooperation agreement with Nakhil Oman Development Company. As per the agreement, the authority will be responsible for providing funding loans for small and medium enterprises and follow up with the performance of the implemented programs and projects. While the company will help small and medium enterprises to get business opportunities through making a long term contracts. An arts exhibition was organized in the Wilay of Suhar in the Governorate of North Al Batina. It included 12 artistic portraits and miniatures that focused on the period of lockdown due to the COVID 19 pandemic. The works in the exhibition were done by talented students from the University of Suhar that, expre that expressed their ideas through the portraits and miniatures describing the feelings and thoughts of people during the lockdown period. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main headlines once again. The Shabab Oman 2 ship starts its international voyage, Oman, the land of peace, heading to the European continent. The Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Investment Promotion reveals in its media meeting more investment initiatives and opportunities in various sectors. And a cooperation program is signed to develop the vocational college for marine sciences in the Wilaya of Al Khabura and other vocational colleges in the Sultanate. With that, we've come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. It's good night and stay safe.